What? Ron's in Bloosh? Ron is in Bloosh! <laughs> what is Bloosh? Bloosh is a weekly lifestyle email written by Annabelle Porter. She used to be the face of the Eagleton phone book. Then she moved to Hollywood to pursue her dream of becoming friends with a bunch of celebrities. Then she moved back to become a lifestyle guru. She's legit. She spent four months living in Kate Bosworth's pool house. Ron Swanson design chair is the must-have item of the season, along with red quinoa, wind therapy, and buying an island. Annabelle says that buying an island is the only real way to know that your goji berry farm is pesticide free. I've been trying to get rented swag and bluesh for months. And now that you got in, I can get in too. Congratulations, Ron, we did it. Someone's getting a new leather jacket. I don't want a leather jacket. It's for me. This is a great day. <laughs> Ron's in bluesh. Ron's in bluesh. What? Ron's in bluesh. Do it. Ron's in bluesh. Hey, Ron, baby. What are the hot deeds on bluesh? Start over and speak differently. Sorry, did you call that PR guy? What's the latest news? Apparently, Joan Calamezzo wants me to go on Pawnee today to discuss my chairs with this Porter woman. I said no. Ron, you said if there was something you could do to help me, you would. Kenny and Blue is my last chance to save my store. You have to go and take me so I can meet her. Please. Fine. If it's that important to your company, I'll do it. Yes! Now, I know high-end, internet-only lifestyle magazine really isn't your scene. So, Donna and I wrote up some cocktail banner and some conversation snippets for you to practice so you can fit in. Annabelle, could I be more gels of your lowlights right now? I mean, OM Squee talk about bangs envy. Oof, you got a long way to go, Swanson. Let's go again from the top. I regret everything. Annabelle, mm. what trends are, pardon the pun, but trending? First of all, Mozambique cashmere is the new cast iron stove. Of course. I have found some amazing new conflict-free paella recipes. Mm. And luckily, my favorite fishmonger now makes house calls. Well, thank God. Finally. But my fave new item is a deliciously bold Chair mm. by local artist Ron Swanson. Ron Swanson is here. He will be joining us after the break, so stick around. Did that woman call my chair delicious? Oh my goodness, we are back with America's greatest leader, <laughs> Annabelle Porter, and her new favorite artisan, local woodworker, Ron Swanson. Hello. I discovered Ron's chairs a few months ago, and what I absolutely love about a Swanson mm -hmm. is you can really use it for anything. Yes, mostly you use it for sitting. Make it a rustic accent piece in your solarium. Even better, use it as a focal point in your yoga tent. Put it by a table and eat a meal. We don't do meals in my home. No, every two hours we eat what I like to call a food tease, like an oat wedge or a seaweed lozenge. Can I just say, and I think this is really important, so I need everyone to shut up. I love your hair. Oh, thank you. It's genetic and unattainable. I love your chair. I need 12 for my stepdaughter's craft room. Well, I make two a year, so maybe in six years. Can you put me on the wait list? Me too. Unless your chair was ever touched by someone who ate refined sugar, then I can't buy any of your chairs, and I protest this entire event. OK, Ron, Annabelle's coming over. When you talk me up, be sure to mention that you really admire how I take big risks with men's neck accessories. There he is. Hello, hello. <laughs> thank you for your kind words about my chairs, Miss Porter. No, thank us. You are about to make a ton of money. I want to license your designs. We are going to put Swanson chairs in every six-bedroom home in the Midwest. If my chairs were mass-produced, they wouldn't be Swanson chairs. Swanson chairs are handmade. Yes, and now they will be made by thousands of tiny Chinese hands. Ronnie. One last time, have you reconsidered mass production? I can sell your chairs on my site. No, thank you, ma'am. I'm not interested in letting someone else sell my work. Well, that's too bad. This party is over. It no longer is, it was. It was? That was my last shot. Sorry, Tommy. Let's just grab some of that lychee body oil and bounce. Can you grab me some of those pomegranate face masks, too? For sure. Oh, hey guys, come on in. You guys, I am Roscoe. I am vice president of Cool New Shiz here at Grizzle. Feel free in this meeting to break out your babes and just kick back. Now, peep this. Leslie Nope has been meeting with people to try to sexy up her presentation. So we had this far out brain tornado. 
good idea. We should get a Britty to come kick it with us, small time, and then just be like, hey, chums, let's get tight with Grizz. We need a celebrity. As a minority owner, it'll strengthen Grizzle's bid. Is a celebrity necessary? I prefer quality over flash. That's why I refuse to write my signature in cursive. Celebrities can help with this kind of thing. The Nets wouldn't be in Brooklyn if it weren't for Jay-Z. And the sales for Chick-fil-A went through the roof once Elton John bought them. Exactly. Grizzle is an outsider here in Pawnee, so a local celebrity is going to make everyone feel more at ease with us. And that's why we called on you home court chillers to frack your braniums. Since we're locals, they want us to think of ideas. I got it from context. OK. I have no interest in consorting with celebrities. The only celebrities I recognize are furniture maker Gary Knox Bennett, designer of the notorious 16-penny nail cabinet, and Magnus, the 5x5 five five bull elk I saw near my cabin two years ago. Took a shot at the bastard, and he stuck his antlers through the door of my meat shed. One day, Magnus, I will wear you as a jacket. Heard happily, crazy iron the douche. Tom Haverford? That's nice, but I don't know if you can really consider me a celebrity. Yeah, that's your handwriting. These are all great options, but I think we need to go after Pawnee's biggest fish, Annabelle Porter from Blush. That horrifying lifestyle newsletter filled with vegan recipes and pointless tchotchkes? Forget it. That woman is my nightmare. Um, she's a big deal, Ron. Blush has won the Pulitzer Prize for best top ten listicle two years in a row. Hey, Ron. Sorry to bother you, but I need you to sign this point of sale document. And uh, please sign it in cursive. It raises a lot of red flags if you know. No. OK. So what's Leslie up to? Well, I don't think I should discuss that, given that you're in competition. Need to remain neutral. Fair enough. Terry, what's Leslie up to? She is trying to find the historical reason to earmark the land for preservation. Terry, come on, man. Leslie, you little sneak. If Leslie's going for a hook, we should too. Let's get Annabelle Bluche person. Yes, glad to see you finally come around after these two minutes of insanity. Now, will you please consider investing in that toddler cologne I've been bugging you about? Toddler cologne, baby. You smell good. Wow. This is exactly what I imagine heaven looks like. Right down to the unisex linen tunics. Annabelle, mon cherie. Hi, I'm sorry, I'm late for our coven. I was polishing my oyster forks with a cage-free olive oil rub. Apology accepted, and then I have no reaction to anything else you said. I can't help but ask, but what's in right now? Well, this season, I'm intrigued by asymmetrical overalls, angora toothbrushes, and locally sourced Italian flip-flops. Also, there's a flirty trend in beverages. So you've had soy milk and almond milk. Now, try the hottest new craze, beef milk. It's like almond milk that's been squeezed through tiny holes in living cows. <laughs> milk. <laughs> no. No. Milk costs $3 a gallon. Annabelle's authentic hand-strained tea-to-table beef milk? <laughs> That costs $60 a gallon. Yeah, and there's a wait list. This woman knows business. And it'd be extremely jazzed to be part of the grizzle bit. Shall we discuss it in my yurt? Great. Ron. OK, let's try this again. All pages accounted for. Just sign right here. How's Leslie doing with her quest? Again, I don't want to talk about her plan with you, nor yours with her. Sure you understand. Absolutely. Terry, what is Leslie up to? Oh, getting ready for a big press conference. Terry, come on! A press conference. So she's found something to strengthen her bid. Miss Porter! Mm. No need to discuss any further. You will be the face of the grizzled bid. Smashing. Well, this calls for a celebratory dram of aged grappa. Okay, so I just sign here? No, no, no! Oh, great. There you go. Yeah, that's invalid. Yeah, now. I know. That's... Who cares about some dumb grandpa on his tin ball? That's the past. Grizzle is the future. The new Portland will become the Midwest headquarters of America's most dynamic technology company. Here to introduce our vision is Annabelle Porter from Bloosh and the sexy ladies known in Pawnee as the Somebody's Daughter Dancers. Fresh, innovative, place-making, Disposable duvets, growth hacking, super moon, grizzle. Now come with me as we binge watch 
the future.